Thank you for calling Tesco Customer Service. Tesco Customer Service, Katrina speaking. How can I help? Oh, hello. Um, okay. I've got a query I have uh -huh. uh, with regards to um, an item I've bought in your store. Right. Um, I think I've had a little bit of an allergic reaction to it. Oh, dear. Um, I, I feel terrible. It's, um, oh, gosh. it's made my stomach really bad. Oh, no. Um, I've got the trots. Um... Oh gosh, what, what what is the item? Have you still got the packaging so we can take a bit of information? Or so have you? Still, oh gosh, what? Have you got the packaging information so I can take the barcode number? Um, no, it's in the bin. Right. So what burgers was it that you purchased? Tesco Value there. Tesco Value burgers. Yeah. No, I, I I I'm getting a bit concerned, right? Because um. I've been having like really bizarre side effects. Right. And I've read, I've, I've heard about this story on the news this morning now, so I'm starting to get a bit worried and concerned. No, I, c I can fully understand your concern, sir, and I am, yeah. I am awfully sorry, you know, you've had to hear that. They have, yeah. um, the FSA, ha I, sorry, FSAI have informed us there's definitely no risk to your health if you are feeling quite friendly because of these. What I would advise is when you are feeling well enough to return to a local store, yeah. if you could have a word with the customer services desk there and they can fill out a form for you if you are a bit concerned. Obviously, I do understand your concern, but... Well, I mean, yeah. the thing is, is, I keep horses myself, see? So I'm a little bit of... A, I'm a, sorry? A a, I keep horses myself, so I'm feeling oh. a bit awkward about this now. I know, I mean, so obviously you know I mean? it has affected a lot of people and it is something we are really extremely sorry about. I mean, obviously, horses is uh, one of well, the animals... I mean, the thing is, I don't know whether the horses are picking up on my, my vibes. Oh, God. You know what I mean? I don't know whether they pick it up, and I'm feeling a bit awkward around them, so I don't know whether they pick it up on that vibe. Oh, God. You know what I mean? No. Um, no, I mean, obviously, if we if we would have been aware of this situation, it would definitely have not happened. It's not something we aim to supply, definitely not. And no, just know. to reassure you, all the products that are supplied to us from those three suppliers have been removed from the shelves, and we're no longer accepting yeah. supplies from them while this is under investigation. So... Like I said, so I really am sorry, and what I would advise is as soon as you are feeling fit and well enough to visit a local store, you can certainly Well, I mean, the thing is, now, I've got, like, these signs and symptoms. I don't know whether it's just my, my mind manufacturing it, but, like, I was walking down the stairs this morning, right? Mm -hmm. And I started, like, trotting. Oh, gosh. So I don't know, do you know what I mean? I don't know whether that's just me subconsciously thinking, oh, look, you've eaten a horse. I know, I can imagine, I mean, I, 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 I eat burgers myself, and the thought of, you know, that might have, that meat may not have been beef meat, it, it can't stay in your stomach, I fully understand that, I mean, but what I can assure you is we have been assured by the authorities, there's definitely no risk to the health, I mean, with you keeping horses, obviously but I do sympathise with how you. Could how could they manage to put that in a burger? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I, I'm not a, a stupid man. And I, I, I'm guessing that you're not a stupid lady, and there's a lot, a lot of people around that are not stupid. No, like, I mean... Horses and cows look totally different, don't they? No, it's something that we were completely unaware of with the suppliers. Yeah. We do have product testing, and as part of the investigation, we will be looking to extend this. But how can they... And, uh, this is the thing, see? How can they, right, if you, if you say, like, a beef burger, how can these people turn around and say, oh, well, that, that's a cow? And that's a horse, and then confuse the two. No, I know. You know what I mean? And like I said, I mean, it's not just the one supplier, there's three suppliers, and this is being investigated fully, and as I said, we're not buying any more meat from those three people yeah. involved, and, you know, it is something I do feel disgusting about myself, and, you know, I, I certainly understand why customers, and especially yourself, if you're keeping horses, why this yeah, does well, I've got one affect in the, you a he's lot. Really, I, I've had to bring him in the house, because he's really upset. Oh, God. No, so all I but can I do is apologise and let you know that this is something that we are fully investigating and trying to make sure we get to the bottom of this, because we do have tested tests put in place, and if we're told, we do random um, quality checks, so this is something we you know, are taken extremely seriously and all I can do is apologise and let you know that, you know, we're not ignoring this. It is being escalated as high up as we can possibly go to make sure the suppliers are, you know, something does happen to them. There so will be how does this affect the price promise?